everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Eternal Evolution. For today, we're on the free-to-play, and we are going to do some Ancient Altar. I'm going to give a little bit of an update. Let's give it a try and see if we can improve. Um, I'm going to experiment a little bit, which might not, may or may not work, uh, moving some people around for some different bosses, and we're going to see uh, how my people can hang. But quick, first, I'm going to quickly show you guys what I have, and then we're going to go right in. But this is day 40 for this account, so you guys have an idea of where I'm at. So right now, I just have Anpu and Emma still as my only triple S immortals. I am going to be working on Sorvali to get her up for pairing with Anpu. Um, I do have Leo here as well, of course, even though he's level 1, or only one copy, I should say. He is still super helpful in a lot of content, at least especially working with the with Hagridon and Nafung here. I don't have anybody in any sort of crazy builds. I do have Anpu in full attack percentage, but he is in an accuracy set. I do need to get his accuracy higher eventually, but that will come with stats. Emma and him, I was swapping around those pieces of gear, but I got to use both of them at the same time. So I'm just going to roll with this, I think, unfortunately. It's a huge debate because Emma's going to be losing a lot of potential attack percentage. But still on the hunt for more attack percentage, legendary gear. I'm going to be grinding more. I did a little bit today, but no luck. Um, and yeah, I think my other stronger people are Falvia. Still, again, mixed gear. Not great. Not the best crit rate. A little bit low for sure. Taylor's slowly getting better. I just need to get a good attack percentage helmet for him and he'll be pretty good to go. His crit rate's a tiny bit low, but I'm slowly getting him up as well. I did put some gear on this guy and he kind of was meh for me, honestly. Um, again, I've swapped in some things around. We're not great on the crit rate. We really want to be higher. I took off his talents and used them for someone else. I have such limited obviously potions at this point of the game so I can't put everybody with full talent trees. I have been using res a lot to boost someone so he is in light gap and HP but that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm, I am trying to get Kalaza better and better over time as well because I am actively using him with Anpu for the summoning team so this is kind of what we're rolling with. When it comes to class technology I've not been in a guild that's had um the boss is like twice a week every week yet now we finally have a nice full guild and that should be the case we should be doing a bit better but it's still a lower level guild obviously of course given my position uh with this account so i don't have much yet like i'm i can't just put it everything here so i focused my summoners i went straight to just go full attack for sake of anpu and then my hunters i did go i'm working on the attack for emma as well and of course taylor and everything too so i'm probably going to focus these two first and same thing with summoners i'm probably going to focus here here and here and maybe accuracy sooner rather than later for sake of anpu sorvali and whatnot but my support everything is kind of low like i did put five into a few of these but i don't want to waste them completely because then the higher more expensive ones to pair with it actually um you know it gets more per round once we get higher up like for sake of getting my next one for oops here is it hunter yeah here these get expensive so i don't want to waste them all but luckily i as i know on my main account once you start to put all those purples in, eventually you get way more purple than you do to go than needed to go along with the reds. So at least there is that. There's nothing else I can really do to improve my team at the moment. And I don't feel like I'm going to have a dramatic jump in progression for tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead a day early and do Ancient Altar. Now, the only debate for this is... I'm going to be pulling for Nord, so I should wait for Ancient Altar, but I want to pull for Ancient Altar so I can get some cards and whatnot to pull for Nord, so, and take advantage of the recruitment events. So we're kind of going in a little bit early, but let's go into hard here. So my last achievement was not even do only doing 4.2 million damage on hard. Let's take a look. What was my team? I'm very curious. 
By the way, we, yes, I have no face video as I like to call it for today. It's just easier when it comes to something like this showing the team anyway, because then I don't have to keep moving myself from one side to the other versus covering up the commander and the prototypes and then showing the damage. I always forget to move myself back and forth. Sometimes it's just easier to skip it. And to be honest, I had a late night stream last night on Twitch. Uh, Dan Heilman was there, Papa Tez, you guys may know them from Celestials. We also had, uh, well, Joey B was supposed to come. He did not. <laughs> Joey, uh, it's fine. Life happens. And yeah, we had some fun. I was literally on stream until almost 4 a.m. last night. So it was, it was a little long day. So yeah, that's it. So let's see. I was using, okay, this makes me feel better to see. So I was actually using, um... Emma and Taylor. Maybe I could throw in the new guy and take advantage of the hunter and see if this works out better for me. We might want to try that this time around. I want to see if, if I can get Masrani in the front if he doesn't die. That would be ideal so he can help boost the attack for people in the back. But we also have a boosted attack for people in the middle, so that's not too bad either. I guess it's just kind of... Hmm... Which way is going to actually be better? I don't know. With I guess with my, my if I have baby Masrani, so it's not like he's fully talent treat and everything. So this is kind of debatable. You know what? I'm just going to play it a little bit more safe. We're going to do that. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. Mm. All right. And then for sake of this of the summoners here, actually, let's see what do we have for prototypes. Yeah, this one is going to still be my best. I think I don't really have high levels of anything else that would be great for this in particular. All right. Um, I wish I had a proper decreased defense in here, though. I wonder if Leo... Hmm, this is a debate, too, if Leo should actually be here or not, honestly. It might not be the most beneficial, but for now, I'm going to see what happens. I don't really think Leo's doing much for this team, to be fair. It's not like he's tanking much. Artas would probably be more beneficial because he's going to bring some decreased defense as well. I mean, ideally, I would get Botmark in here. <clears throat> Excuse me, but my bot mark is pretty terrible. But I wonder if he's still better than having John. Maybe I will do that for sake of this hunt. Still this hunter we could take advantage of. I will lose the ultimate skill here bonus. But at least we can get some decreased defense in here. Creek, uh, hopefully my Leo can stay alive for a little bit. We might have to change that next round though. I think this team's going to stay the same. Nothing to change here. And then... When it comes to here, I was just trying to protect whoever my best damage dealers were for AoE, which was really, is now Falvia, and I guess sort of him, he's not the best, but for AoE, but he's better than nothing. I really don't have a way to throw in like the Hagridon commander into these teams right now, unless I went a little bit stronger. I really do want this to be a strong team because if we can get the shield down on the second boss it makes the damage a lot better for this the lower the shield he has the more damage pure damage we're just doing straight to the boss and not having to worry about taking out the shield every time so i'm kind of you want to do your strongest team here at the boss your second strongest team here and then care less about this but it is helpful of course if you can do it but yeah it's like finding a balance is kind of hard right now i'm gonna let my hunters just kind of take the wheel and see what happens. This is a hard one though with the AoEs. It's a little bit crazy. I have, some, I would like some better options here, but I just don't have strong AoE champions built. So it's just not, not the best, unfortunately. I would love to get the new hunter in, but I just don't see him being a better choice at the moment. Artas would be good if I went full. If I put Leo in the first team with Artas and like Crete and did that, it might be an answer, honestly, to help bring it down a little bit. But maybe we try that for a different run. I'm not even using res. I could be using res to boost somebody. Hmm. That's a debate as well. Like, I could honestly use res to boost Anpu, for goodness sake. Um, which is not bad. Make him go as often as possible. And I could maybe bring Serena into the first team. But I doubt we'd be able to keep everyone alive very well. That's the trouble. I do have Creed in here as kind of a tank and a decreased defense. So this is a little bit messy, not going to lie, but it's it's this is so experimental for me still because my people just don't have the gear. I am going to go ahead and full auto. You can take advantage of timing your skills 
on the boss because of when the shields are up or not, whether or not you want to use your ultimates there, that's kind of up to you. Saving them for when it's just pure damage against the boss itself is better. But yeah, I want, I kind of am curious to see how much we can get down, but it doesn't even look like we're going to get one level down here. Ideally, at least if we could just get every time we do this, I want to get one level better, right? Like, okay, we, we, can, we can't even get one level down here. Maybe next time we can, right? So unfortunately, if we try to back out because I want to retry it, it does lose your key. So I don't want to do that. You'd have to close the game and reopen it, but it's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to obsessively min-max right now. We're st I, if I if it's not perfect, it's not perfect. We're still working on these teams. I have a lot to figure out, but and I mean, once I get some people like Nord in the mix, that's gonna be fun. I would love a Daniel. Oh my goodness, I would love a Daniel. Still, he's still great. Anpu is a monster, though. I think this is gonna be amazing. If we can get this shield down, it's gonna be so good for the boss. I mean, I don't think we're gonna get it down completely. But down a few levels at least would be great. I wonder what I should have. I don't think I should have Crete in there as a tank. Maybe I should try to do Hagradon um, for the first boss. Maybe we'd have a chance to actually get a couple levels down and stay alive if I do the three commanders. Oh my goodness, we might actually take the shield out completely. Oh shit, I don't think I did that last week. So this is really good to see. If I can take the shield out completely, that is huge. Oh, see, this is great. Serena healing, keeping Sorvali alive so, so she can keep popping out her little deers there <laughs> and helping out with a little healing too is so good. Oh my gosh, get it, get it, get it, guys. Oh, we did it. Holy crap. Okay, that's perfect. Shield down completely. No shield on the boss is huge. Now, the other thing I'm really going to have to test is, yeah, like, does Botmark really help that much? Does Leo really help that much here? Does Leo tank enough or does he die too quickly to be even worthy of putting in here? Um, but we do start taking a lot of damage from this boss. I think Botmark might die too fast. He might not even be worthy of having in here. I need might need a few more copies of him. But I'm curious about the new guy, how he'd be for here. So that's something I need to try as well. Maybe we'll swap in someone for the second key. Obviously, I don't see myself, like, one-keying this one by any means, but maybe soon. Maybe we'll get there. Ooh, Masrani's dead. Leo's already dead. Oh, boy. Okay, so that, yeah, Leo's kind of pointless here. We start dying really quickly, but look at 11.3 million damage compared to 4.2 last time. I think we can uh, say I had massive gains on this account compared to last week. That's what I want to see, honestly. I don't care if it's perfect. I don't care if it's ultra endgame already. I'm not rushing for that. This is my free-to-play. We're just chilling. And that's really good for me to see. So I'm totally happy with that, honestly. I know that may not be enough. It's going to take me three keys. I maybe should be experimental on this next key. Why not, though, right? Liren is probably barely doing anything, let's be honest. Um, I don't know that Crete is the most helpful here. I feel like... I don't think Leo is really doing anything there either. I feel like we get a little bit interesting. Let's go ahead and try to do this here and see if I can benefit from... Oh, where's... Oh yeah, he's way down here. Um, see if I can benefit from this instead. I don't know that it's going to make it worthy, if it's going to be good enough. But maybe it's enough to keep keep it rolling. And may, ugh, Can I fall via be my only damage, though? I mean, we need healing, don't we? That's the reality. If we have no healer in here... Hmm... That's a debate. Do I try this with no healer? Or do I just put Liren in there, maybe? Maybe I put Liren here. I don't want to kill this team that did so good, though. Ugh. Okay, let's throw a Liren in here. I don't know that that's going to be enough, but and let's Fulvia be the main source of damage. But Leo actually pumps out some damage, too. So if we can stay alive longer, maybe we can get at least one multiplier down. 
now the debate is just here and here like which tank options are we going to use that's really the question for me or do i try something like res boosting emma here maybe i do that maybe res boosts emma and then we throw in a tank or do i throw in like an artos i don't know that he's going to stay alive very well but i do have artos and all i have it mostly in defense gear not hp i'm gonna try it i it probably isn't the best option i do want to try this guy though too so that's the only bummer is i really I'm having a hard time finding a space to get him in here. And here I think Boar is probably my better of the two. I do need to work heavily on my gear for my tanks, but it is what it is. I also just realized I never really checked to see if I had a better option here. So what is going to give me the best extra stats, right? That's the real question. 10, 15. Already that's more with not even a single level in it. We just want stats here. Okay, we have a chance to stun. That's extra crowd control. I like that. This one is going to be quirky, though. I think this is going to be a bit risky. Oh, wait, this has no healer. Oh, no, Maserani is there. Okay, I'm blind. He died so quickly, though, but this is, the boss hits hard. I might have just made things worse, but let's try something different. All right, let's go. Come on, come on. Let's try this again. Yeah, that's... I mean, if we could just use those two... Those few to stay alive long enough to punch down. Oh, I would love to get another multiplier. No, so close yet so far away. Now, Fung, you can do it. Get one more. Come on, just get one. Just get him down one. You can do it. You can do it. Nope. Oh my gosh. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Come on. One more hit on him. One more hit. If you Oh, seriously. Look at that sliver. That was not funny. One little baby sliver. <laughs> that is too funny. So let's see if we regret that decision or not. You can see how close it was, though. Just a little bit of rolling up a few more pieces of gear to make them survive a little bit better. Swapping out a couple pieces might be all I need to do for that first team to get that down to at least a times five instead of a times six for the multipliers for what's going to affect the boss with his damage. I hope I didn't screw this up, though. Can we still get this one down 100% without like a crete in here with the decreased defense. I might have messed this up. I might have made this a little too risky, but we're going to find out, I guess. Oh boy. I mean, it's going pretty quick once we get rolling with the damage here. Once we get these summons out and Ampu just starts popping his ultimate, it goes quick for damage. Because every time the summons die and he goes whoosh, we get some corpse explosion, right? I think we're still okay. Nice. So I might try to put Senway in here instead of Boar even. Actually, I don't need to. I mean, this team works, right? Don't don't fix what isn't broken. At least for sake of hard. I'm not definitely not ready for hell anytime soon. Oh my gosh, so close. Come on, come on. Hurry up. Nine, eight, seven. All right, we did it. We did it. Boar died early though, but he did enough. And then we have the final boss. Sorry this video is a lot longer than I expected. I figured I would at least show you guys doing a couple heart attacks. You could see how I'm experimenting, what my thought process is. And we're just, we're, we're playing, right? Like, that is what it is. You kind of just have to figure out what's going to synergize best for your people. Whether or not, like, okay, does this decrease defense and damage mitigation stuff for... Artos, is that is that worth keep, keeping in this team? To be honest, he's staying alive longer, I think. Is he already staying alive? No, he can't be staying alive longer than Leo. I mean, maybe. My Leo is only one copy. Masrani is so gonna die. I think I should I should definitely be manualing Masrani because he is not healing the right people. It's also baby Masrani has such a tiny radius for healing that it's really, really hard to benefit, you know? Unfortunately. Oh boy. Let's see if we can at least keep these guys alive a little bit longer. 
res boosted Emma at a bad time too, so manualing that could make a big difference. Go, Taylor, go! <laughs> 18.6 million. Look at that massive change. Hell yeah. From 11 to 18. That was huge. So see, just working around, playing a little bit, seeing what you can do, it can make a big difference. So now I'm just going to go ahead and finish off. I do want to make sure that I kill this boss completely. Then we will get double chests. And then I can do normal um, and or easy, depending on what I have left for keys. But if I can finish this boss, I'm totally going to do that. Why not? And my last key on hard did even more damage with just a couple regears. This was amazing and sad because I just missed downing the whole boss by 0.9 million. So, yep that happened but that's fine i'll waste the extra key now and at least get it down totally so i'm quite excited here that was that was really nice to see but yeah that's all for today's video guys i just wanted to give you guys an update of what i'm working with and i think that kind of shows some fun experimentation hope you guys like to see this sort of thing as i progress my little free-to-play series see you next time in the next video